Um, my deep apologies for being the one person on the agenda speaking English. Oh well. So I am the president of the Open Source Initiative, and uh, the coming year is a great year. Uh, 35 years ago, uh, Richard Stallman decided that he could no longer tolerate proprietary software and started the free software movement. Uh, 20 years ago, a group of people gathered in California and decided that uh, free software needed to be brought to the business world and they created a marketing program called Open Source to bring free software to the world of business. Uh, that's a great journey we've come on. Uh, it was Gandhi who pointed out that whenever you start a revolution, first they laugh at you. And people did laugh at the idea of free software. They thought that it was ridiculous. English-speaking people only heard the word free as meaning no money. And they laughed at the idea of software being created without payment. But then we moved on. And at the 20 year ago point, where the open source marketing program was created, we found people fight you. And companies did fight us. SCO fought us very strongly. Uh, it tried to kill off Linux. Uh, Microsoft tried to kill open source, conspired in some things called the Halloween documents to do it. And they also tried to kill off open document format, uh, leading to the almost unprecedented sight of geeks protesting in the streets of Oslo against the standardization of Microsoft's document format. And so we get to today, and well, what happens after you get laughed at and after you fight, what happens is you win. And so today, uh, in surveys, uh, the vast majority of developers believe that open source improves your efficiency in software development. It leads to the, uh, it, it eases interoperability and it triggers and liberates innovation. And so we're coming to the, the next 10 years of open source. We've had two lots of 10 years already. The, the first 10 years were advocacy and controversy. The second 10 years were adoption. And now in the third 10 years, the word is assimilation. Open source has taken over. What's going to happen next? We're going to see open source communities gradually change character. In the first decade, open source was enthusiasts and projects that were all about replacing off-the-shelf software. In the second decade, open source was uh, components and was dominated by single project specialists. The third decade will be dominated by generalists who work in many open source communities, integrating them together. The second uh, thing in the next decade of open source is an end to single project companies. The first decade was dominated by the search for the open source business model. I don't believe we ever found it. We just had companies that started up and tried to control us with their business, like MySQL. The second decade was a decade of businesses trying to sell service. And the third decade, I think, will be a decade where businesses sell the skill to put the parts together, to make them run, and to keep them running. And that characterizes today businesses like Google and Facebook and Twitter. But that is going to be every business in the next decade. We'll be dealing with assembling complexity and scaling the complexity in production. The third trend is going to be about licenses. Open source succeeded because we standardized licenses. But we've now got enough, thank you. No more licenses, please. What we'll see in the third decade is consolidation of licenses. We will see a stabilization and a shrinking of the number of licenses in use because they will be needed 
by the ecosystems of complexity that we are managing. The fourth trend, I believe, will be a rediscovery of software freedom. We allowed ourselves to be divided, the free software and open source communities. We pretended there was a difference between free software and open source, but there's not. They are both expressions of software freedom, and we're going to rediscover that in the next 10 years because we will be forced to solve problems with new models, cloud computing, with the Internet of Things, with the manipulation of big data. And as we solve those problems, we will discover that it is vital to go back to the four freedoms and make sure the software is free to use, that it is open to study, that it may be freely changed, and that it may be equally distributed. And then finally, I believe OSI has a future. Well, I would say that. I'm the president. But OSI has been crystallizing consensus for the last 20 years, and we're going to continue to do that work. But more importantly, we think next year is a year for celebration. We think that we should celebrate 20 years of open source and 35 years of free software. So we're calling a big party. That big party, and you're the first to hear about it here, that big party starts on the 3rd of February in 2018, and that big party will end here at the Paris Open Source Summit in December of 2018. We will be having anniversary celebrations throughout the world. The first one will be at FOSDEM in Brussels. We're also launching a new website in January. Uh, the name is up there. Uh, if you visit the site, it's not finished yet, but we're doing it in the open because that's the open source way. On our new website, website we have a timeline of the history of open source. And if you've been in the bar here at the summit, you can see the first version of that timeline up on the wall. And we would like you to add your moments of open source history to the global timeline. We would also like you to share your stories of success. And we would like you to join the new self-help open sources network that we are starting on the website. So come celebrate. There's a list of conferences here all over the world. Um, I don't think any of us are going to all of them. Uh, but if you would like to try to do that, let me know, and I will get you a World Tour t-shirt to wear. Uh, if you would like to have local celebrations where you live or where you work, then you can do that. And we may even be able to provide some small grants to help you celebrate. Uh, we'd like you to share your success story. So throughout the year, we would like to feature you and your success. And so on our new website, we'd like you to post your success stories with photographs, with videos, with links to web pages. And um, we will build them and promote them. And then finally, there is the open source network that we're launching. Uh, we would like to get best, best case examples of uh, open source development, licensing, community management, uh, people management, procurement, portfolio management. We would like to get all of those examples onto a website that we can carry forward through the next 10 years so that open source is not just about uh, Git, but is also about memorializing best practice. So please join me in celebrating in 2018. We've come an amazing distance since 35 years ago and 20 years ago. And you should be as proud as I am of that achievement. Thank you.